Good afternoon, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another midweek live with yours truly, Minister Tanya Brown. I have a word for you tonight. Go ahead and tell somebody that Midweek Live is on. Get your Bibles or whatever mechanism you use to read from the Word of God. Once again, we will be in the Old Testament in Psalms, in Psalms, a very familiar, a very familiar division of Psalms. That's right, in Psalms once again tonight. Good afternoon, Ms. Enette Reese. Thank you for joining me tonight. Night. Good afternoon, Minister Patricia Frazier. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the day that our Lord has made, and we will rejoice. We will be glad on this Lord's day. Good afternoon, Miss Gracie Talbert, Miss Annie Reese. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule, Mr. Robert Smith, to be a part of Midweek Live. Good afternoon, Miss Bonnie. Hallelujah. Miss Bernice Adair Wallace. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me tonight. Glory to an almighty God. We're going to go ahead and get started from the 37th Division of Psalms. Good afternoon, Miss Whitfield. From the 37th division of Psalms. Verse number 23. One verse, one verse. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. I'll read it again. One verse. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. And my topic tonight is just keep on walking. Just keep on walking. Yes, I came to tell you, just keep on walking. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. The Bible, my brothers and my sisters, especially in Psalms, has much to say concerning our walk. In Psalm 1, the psalmist admonishes us to walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. In Psalm 23, verse 4, the psalmist writes, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Psalm 84 and 11 says, No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 119 verse 1, just keep on walking. It reads like this, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Isaiah 40 and 31, you know this one, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Just keep on walking. Romans chapter 8 verse 4 that the, reads like this, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Miss Renfro, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. And Galatians chapter 5 verse 16, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. My topic tonight, just keep on walking. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Here in Psalm 37 verse 23, the psalmist again has something profound, Miss Bernice, to say as it relates to walking. Here it is, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way, Miss Marita. We have learned, my brothers and my sisters, that oftentimes the word walk in the Bible has to do with our lifestyle. Lifestyle, somebody type in lifestyle. 
We understand that those of us who are born again belong to the most high God. He is our shepherd, our shepherd. Therefore, because we belong to him and he is our shepherd, it stands to reason, my brothers and my sisters, that he would leave on record instructions for us to follow as it relates to our walk, Dr. Boykins. Remember that we have been taught that a shepherd's job is to guard us, to grow us, and to guide us. In this particular verse that we will study tonight, the shepherd leaves us inspired instructions that will guide our walk as long as we follow him, Miss Gracie Talbert. This verse, my brothers and my sisters, is about our director. It's about our director, but it's also about direction. And thirdly, it is about delight. Those are my points that I'm going to focus on tonight our director, the, the direction, and the delight. First of all, in this particular verse, this very one verse, I see the director. Here it is, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered by who? The Lord. The Lord is our director. In order for us, my brothers and my sisters, to recognize him as Lord, we must have a relationship with him. And I believe that I'm talking to some people that have a relationship with the Lord and Savior. Yeshua's assignment, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua's assignment was to facilitate a personal relationship with God the Father. I'm not making it up. You know what John 3 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yeshua's assignment was to facilitate a personal relationship with God the Father. In Psalm 23, the psalmist understood the importance of having having a relationship. Somebody type in relationship with the Lord. When he penned in Psalm 23 and one, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. He is our director, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord. Have you made him your Lord? Have you made him your Lord? Our Lord, our director. Yes, sir, Joshua. Please understand, my brothers and my sisters, that our director, our Lord, does not force himself on anyone. Man has been given free will. Free will, that's right. You have a choice in the matter. I'm talking to you, you and you. You have a choice in the matter. That is why John 3, 16 says, whosoever, you have a choice in the matter. You have a choice as to whether you will have a relationship with the Most High or whether you won't have a relationship. God does not force himself on anyone. Proverbs 3 and 6 says, in all thy ways, we're talking about our director, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path in all thy ways. How many ways? Always type that in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. When we make him Lord, when we make him our director, he has a responsibility, responsibility to direct us or to provide us with directions. And that leads me to point number two. We've looked at our director, the Lord. Now let's take a look at the directions. It says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The steps, your walk. In other words, you're going to need some guidance. You're going to need some direction along the way. Who's going to give you those directions? The Lord. Our Lord gives us directions. He points us to the right way. He points us along the right way. He orchestrates things so that we can be on the right path. Somebody type in right path. His directions, my brothers and my sisters, for our path are found 
in his word. As you walk, you're going to need some directions. I know you think you can do everything all by yourself. I know you think you have the right education. I know perhaps you think you have the right finances and you don't need anybody, but I came by to let you know that you need some guidance. The word says in all thy ways, acknowledge him. There was a time, my brothers and my sisters, when we ventured into the unknown, all we needed was a map and or a compass, Deacon Carl Brown. And, and now, 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 thankful, thank, thankful to technology, we have a GPS system. We have our own personal navigational devices on our phones to help us to reach our destination. And when we are following the shepherd, glory to an almighty God, we have our very own spirit spiritual GPS. Yes, you have a spiritual GPS. I need to let you know tonight that if you are following the director, then you have a spiritual GPS. Verse 23 says, good man, good man, good man. We're right here in Psalm 37, verse 23. A good man is one who is in right standing with him. One who is in right standing with God the Father. Psalm 1 119 verse 133 says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, the word, thy word, whose word? His word, not your word, his word, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I did tell you, you need some guidance. You need some direction, Miss Gloria Reese, along this Christian journey. Being ordered by the Lord has to do with following his lead and being planted in the right place at the right time came to ask you the question tonight. Are you planted in the right place? Yes, yes, yes. Perhaps it's a rhetorical question. Ask yourself, are you planted in the right place? Am I planted in the right place? Glory to an almighty God. When you're planted in the right place, you cannot be fit. You cannot fail. You'll be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water that, that, that flows and flows in due season. Oh my God. It may sway to the right. It may sway to the left, but it's planted. Are you planted? Are you planted? If you're planted, you've got all the resources that you need. He plants us in places. He stations us where he needs us and he establishes our assignments. Yes, your assignment, Dr. Boykins. Yes, Miss Pamela Harris, Miss Mary Thomas, your assignment has been established by the Lord. And I need to let you know tonight, Pastor Brown told us on Sunday that every assignment is not a permanent assignment. In Matthew chapter 10, verse five, Jesus told his disciples, do not go among the Gentiles or enter into any of the towns of the Samaritans. That was their temporary assignment. Somebody type in temporary. But in Matthew 28 and 19, Jesus told them, go ye therefore and teach all nations. That was their permanent assignment because the disciples, my brothers and my sisters were in relationship relationship. It's about relationship, Miss Minnie Allen, because the disciples were in relationship with him. They recognized his voice and were able to shift directions in the midst of the assignment. They were able to shift directions at his command because they were in relationship with him. And when you are in relationship with him, you are able to recognize his voice. Do you recognize his voice? My God, my God. Some of you all have too many other people talking to you and you can't hear his voice. His voice is muffled. His voice is cloudy. You've got to get other people out of your ear so you can get him in your ear so that when it's time to shift 
you'll be in position to shift. When you are in relationship with the Most High God, you will be able to recognize when he wants you to go and recognize when he wants you to come. Do you know his voice? Glory to God. We have looked at the director, the Lord. We have looked at the directions he orders our steps. Now let's look at the delight. It's all in this same verse. Verse 23, Psalm 37, verse 23. The delight. And he delighted in his way. It's right there. And he delighted in his way. Whenever, my brothers and my sisters, you follow the directions of the director, he's glad about it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said he's glad about it. My God, my God. As a matter of fact, he is exceedingly glad when you follow the path that he has charted. Psalm 84 and 11 reminds us that no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. He's exceedingly glad. He delights when you follow the course that he has given you. I don't know about you, but I want the most high God to be glad when he sees me. Psalm 35 Verse 27 says, let the Lord be magnified who had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Did you hear that? Let the Lord be magnified who had pleasure. He's happy about it. He's delighted in it. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. You, 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 and you. Yes, yes, yes. He's glad about it. Numbers 14 and 8 says, if the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and with honey. And for you and for me, that, that, that signifies abundance. That signifies the best things in life. Glory to God. God does not want his people always having leftovers. There's nothing wrong with leftovers, but God wants you to have the best. There are times God has designed the best just for you. I don't care how many hand-me-downs you had. I don't care how many leftovers you ate, but there are times when God wants the very best for you. Glory to an almighty God. Psalm 37 and verse 4 says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. How many people are believing believing God for something. If you delight in him, he'll delight in you. If you do what he wants you to do, he'll delight in you. And it says you'll have the desires of your heart. Is there anybody in here who wants the Lord to take delight in them? Do you want God to take delight in you? Do you want him to be happy when he sees and hears of you? Do you want him to be pleased with your will and your ways? He wants to delight in you. He He's thinking good thoughts about you. Yes, I don't care how many other people have negative thoughts as it relates to you. He has good thoughts when it comes to you, Miss Annie Reese. It doesn't matter what they said about you that was negative. God has good thoughts when it comes to you. Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, I say this because I know what the plans I am planning for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you, plans for your peace. My God, my God, I believe I'm talking to some people who need some peace. Plans for your security. Do you need some security? Not plans to hurt you or to harm you. I will give you hope and a good future. Yes, a good future. He has great plans just for you. For I know the thoughts I think toward you, said Jehovah, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you your ladder end of hope. And I came by to tell you that the, your ladder end is going to be better than it was in before. He's thinking about you, my brothers and my sisters. So just keep on walking. He has great plans when it comes to you, my brothers and my sisters. So just keep on walking. I challenge you tonight in the midst of whatever you're going through to just keep on walking. That's my subject. He is perfecting that thing. He is perfecting that 
which concerns you. So just keep on walking. Even my brothers and my sisters, when he has to correct you, you just keep on walking. Because there are times, my brothers and my sisters, that just like the car that you're driving may get off course, there are some times that you get off course. There are some times that I get off course and he redirects us. And when he redirects us, my God, my God, just keep on walking. Sometimes he has to reroute you. But just keep on walking, keep on walking. What you and I have to understand is that while he is directing our path, he is also walking with us. Did you hear that? What a mighty God we serve. He's directing us, but he's also walking with us. How do I know, Miss Yvonne Whitfield? Because the word says, Lo, I'm with you always. Lo, I'm with you. Lo, I'm with you. Yes, he's going before us, but he's also along with us. My God, my God, that's the word of God tonight. Just keep on walking. Just keep on walking. So I challenge you tonight, I challenge you tonight to be certain, be certain that you have the relationship, the right relationship with God the Father, my God. I challenge you tonight to follow the path that he's given. And when he's telling you to rearrange, remove, change, reroute, I'm challenging you right now to listen to his voice and do just what he said to do. Just keep on walking, Miss Harris. Keep on walking, Miss Thomas. Just keep on walking. Glory to God. We're going to go to God in prayer tonight. Hallelujah. If you have a problem, a concern, a situation that, that you need prayer about tonight, we're going to turn it over to God. It doesn't matter how big that situation is doesn't matter how big it is. It's never, never, ever too big for God. It doesn't matter how small it is. You mean, you, you, you know, those small problems that we think are just too small to bother other people about. I came by to tell you that they are just right for God. Why? 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 Because in his eyes, they're all light afflictions, Miss Marita. Yes, I will pray for your family. He says these light afflictions are temporary. That means that trouble will not last always. That's right. It will not last always. Always. It is going to pass. My Lord, my Lord. Glory to God. Let's go to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we come tonight. We bring to you, Lord, all of the concerns and all of the needs and, Lord, all of the difficulties, God, that your people are dealing with tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. That's nothing to, that is nothing for God. Glory to God. Lord God, we just thank you, God, for going before us fighting our battles. We thank you, God, for going before us, being our advocate. We thank you, God, for doing great things, new things in our lives, God, tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that surpasses all man's understanding. Lord God, we ask that you will comfort the Frazier family tonight in their hour of bereavement, Lord. God, give them peace, God, that only you're able to to deliver God in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for doing it now, God. We thank you, God, that even this, God, is just right for you to do in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for blessing the Laney Taylor family. We thank you, God, for being all that she needs for you to be in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you tonight for canceling the assignment of the enemy. Every demonic attack that the enemy has launched our way. God, we thank you for canceling it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for doing a new thing in our bodies, God. We thank you for going into the individual cells, God. We thank you, God, for rearranging things, God, causing the cell to function just as you intended it in the beginning, God. We thank you for weeding out abnormalities in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for purifying the blood, for life is in the blood. We thank you, God, 
for, for soothing, soothing the pain, God. We thank you for driving away fear, God. We thank you, God. We bind up that spirit of anxiety, God, that is overshadowing and attacking your people in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for overshadowing your people, God, with a cloud of peace, God, the kind of peace that is not of this world, the kind of peace that no counselor or therapist can provide, the kind of peace, God, that only you can provide in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we thank you for regulating bodily bodily systems in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, for restoring relationships. We thank you for restoring family relationships, friendships in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for allowing your people to hear your word, God, and to cancel out the enemy's word in the name of Jesus. We thank you for walking with us and for talking with us in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We give you all of the glory tonight. We praise your name tonight, God. We shout victory all over the place tonight. Wherever your people are, we shout victory. We claim victory in the name of Jesus. We just bless your name tonight. We thank you, God, that you are perfecting the things that concern us. We thank you, God, that you're already working out the kinks in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're making the crooked way straight in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're opening doors for us that no man can shut in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. I decree and declare peace in your people's home. I declare and de I declare peace on their jobs in Jesus' name. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. It is done. In the mighty powerful, awesome name of Jesus. And it is so, and it is so, and it is so. You begin to claim it in the name of Jesus. It is so. Hallelujah. In spite of what we see, it is so. In spite of what we feel, it is so. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless the name of Jesus tonight. I want to thank all of you for joining me for Midweek Live, I'm encouraging you, just keep on walking. It is so, yes. Just keep on walking. I know it's tough, but just keep on walking. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thanks for joining me. Remember that we are back in-house if you do plan to come, seating is still limited, not as limited as it was, but it is still limited. So please sign up. And remember that in order to enter, enter the sanctuary, you do need to be vaccinated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And hopefully Miss Janie Brown will have our announcements up on the screen tonight. Um, I do know that we, I think we're having another yard sale soon, and hopefully that information will be up on the screen. Um, you remember you can pay your tithes through the Easy Tithe app, the Easy Tithe app. Pastor Brown's 33rd anniversary is March the 27th, 9 a.m. worship service. Dr. Eric Ingram will be our guest speaker on that Sunday. Um, if this if this message has been a blessing to you, to you, to you, and to you, please share it with somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thanks so much for joining me, all of you. Remember to keep walking with God, and God will keep walking with you. Until next time.